Hi, my name is Mayor Cromwell and I am a Gaia communicator and Gaia priestess. Author and healer, I have two books out that are uh, conversations with Mother Gaia. And I have surrendered to serve Mother. And so she talks with me all the time. She me interesting assignments, big projects, small projects. And she has asked me to do a Mother Gaia State of the Earth report today. And so I am going to be allowing her to speak through me. And we're just going to get started. And uh, I have a few notes here of what she's given me in advance topic she wants to cover, but this is really her thing. And believe me, this is a wild adventure serving her at this level. <sighs> Hello, my beautiful children, all my beloved two-legged, my beloved humans. Please know how much I love you. Please know that I am not dying as your planetary caretaker. Yes, I am not happy with what's happening in certain corners of the planet. And yet I'm actually, part of me is not happy, but a part of me is ecstatic with what's happening on the earth right now. Let me help you understand. You humans have not lived on the planet that long, really. There are millions and millions and billions and billions and trillions of species that have lived here on earth. And many are not here anymore, they've gone extinct. And many are still here. And I'm not saying this to imply that humans are gonna go extinct. I'm sharing this with you just to encourage you to remember that your lens on what's happening on the earth with the floods and the fires and the huge storms is really what's meant to happen at this time on the planet's history, within the planet's history. I am going through a big rebirthing right now. For those who can see me, I'm hugely pregnant, hugely pregnant, about as pregnant as a planet could be. And that's going to be a big new earth that's coming in right now. And it's coming in. Most of it's already here, but you just don't realize that because it's here in the energetic planes. So I need to set something straight for you to help you understand this much bigger picture than what your uh, myopic uh, small human lens is really allowing you to see within your Western mindset. The energies on the planet are shifting very fast and rising in frequency. There are so many beautiful beings coming in from all planet in beautiful, beautiful forms and shapes and names and some that don't have names in your languages. And they're all coming in to help me and all of the sacred ones here on earth, including you humans, to help us all birth the new earth that's happening right now, that's coming in. Some, some call us the ascension. So the fires that have been happening, regardless of how they were started, are clearing off stagnant, heavy energies that need to go. There is so much heavy, stagnant energy here on me, your sacred planet. A lot of it is because of what you humans have been doing, but it's not really all because of you. It's because of darker energies from off planet that have been coming in for millions and millions of years and blocking ascension, blocking the full fruition of what earth is meant to be. Because Earth is meant to be galactic outpost for spiritual consciousness. And Mir's using that term right now, and she got that from Camus, actually a Sasquatch elder, in a book called Messages from Sasquatch. But, uh, but it's true. 
it's true that this glorious planet where you all live with me, on me, is going through a massive rebirthing and has always been meant to be a galactic outpost for spiritual consciousness in this part of the universe. And the wild thing is that when all of us, including you humans who choose to really help out and support, when we all achieve full ascension here on earth, it's gonna ripple out from here throughout the universe. Earth is the seed planet for this. Do you know how huge that is? It's absolutely huge. <laughs> If you don't, if you don't realize this. So there's a lot of strange things going on in your cultures, as you are aware. Some might call this very chaotic. Some, many are finding it, most of you are finding it extremely disturbing and unsettling and rattling the very roots of how you are living, the very foundations on which you base your culture. The truth of the matter is, is that the systems that you humans have created, the dominant world system, which is the Western world culture, needs to crack and crumble and fall apart for this new earth to fully come forward. And it's up to all of you collectively, every single one of you, to put your hearts and your minds together to help birth this new earth with ease and grace. And the problem is, is that some of you are digging your heels in and refusing, refusing to understand how life is meant to be lived here on me, your sacred planet, meant to be lived from a place of harmony and balance and peace and compassion and joy fully sustainable in your lifestyles so that nothing is hurting me. Your actions are restoring my health. That's what's meant to be happening and it will be happening. But the more many of you keep on digging your heels in and sticking your head down deep like the ostrich in the hole, and I love ostriches, don't get me wrong. I love all of you. I love all of my sacred beings. I do, I really do. But the change is gonna happen regardless and it's already happening. So the toxic wounded masculine, the shadow masculine needs to be healed. All the men with shut down hearts who are so caught up in their fear, which is really what's been happening in the heart of Washington DC is fear, 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 fear as it is in Hong Kong. Fear, 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 fear. Governments that are no longer gonna be serving, aren't serving, haven't been serving me for a long time. Well, relatively short time in my scale of time, but anyway, in your human history. They need to crack and crumble or gracefully shift and the choices are there for their leaders. So know that a lot of heavier beings that aren't supposed to be here on earth are being kicked off, right, left, and center. And I'm ecstatic and I wish to really thank all my light workers and cosmic shamans and those of you who you know who you are, who are doing really amazing, beautiful work to raise the energies here on the planet as they're meant to, and, and they are. So know that there are some humans who are working behind the scenery, doing some big time work, clearing. Clearing beings that have been here stuck in the rock layers of my bones, my rock layers. Some of these beings have been stuck here, hunkered in for millions of years. And if not millions of years, tens and tens of thousands of years. They're being discovered and being sent off planet to be taken care of out there. And believe me, there are councils that are working with me and these light workers and helping, uh, helping to deal with all these beings that are being ejected. Back to their home planets, back to rehab, back to love and light. And in all of this shifting, I do wanna speak about the extinctions that have been happening. And it doesn't make me happy 
that all these animals and plants are disappearing from me so fast. However, however, they don't just completely disappear. They vibrate into another multidimensional zone. And many of them will return again in time. And for me, time is very different than how you see time. I'm 4.8 billion years old as a planet. So also, it's time for all of you to wake up to the fact that this is a multidimensional world. And all around you are nature spirits, fairies and elves and pixies and naiads and dryads and the list goes on and on, landscape angels and overarching huge landscape angels like the one that's in charge of the Himalayans and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The ones that are in charge of the oceans. There's one that's in charge of the Pacific, one that's in charge of the Atlantic, and then all the other water spirits that are under the auspices of these really large ones all over the world, Indian Ocean, Antarctic, Arctic waters. They want you to know that they're real. They're not fiction. They're not fairy tales. And they would love, they would love for you humans to apologize to them for what you have done to them because they're far more ancient and intelligent and wise than you humans are. And they're so powerful that actually in the, in the snap of a finger, the nature spirits could just wipe all the humans out. But that's not meant to happen because they have a lot of love. Most of them, some of them are pretty angry and hurt and grumpy and seeking forgiveness before they'll open up to you all again. But every single one of you is invited to open your hearts, to drop from your minds, your intellectual TikTok 3D minds to your hearts. And love the nature spirit. Send them love and gratitude and apologies. If you know how to do ceremony, do ceremony sending apologies. Love the trees. The trees are waiting for you to wake up. They're far more intelligent and evolved than you humans are. This is true. The whales are more evolved and intelligent. The dolphins. Do you have any idea the amount of intelligence that exists outside of your human realms? It's a lot and it's more evolved. So, so I'm inviting you all to come home to me from your hearts, from your actions. Plant trees. Go protest peacefully. Stand up and speak for me and the nature spirits and the trees and the whales and the dolphins, more of you. More of you need to spend less time in front of your phones, your technology, your computers, your TVs, because you've all been numbed down, most of you. Some of you are very awake and you know what's going on and I, I'm just so tickled that you're in that place. So, it would be helpful if more of you trained to be grief counselors and those who know how to heal post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, because there are many of you who are really freaked out by what's happening in the politics, in the environment, in the coral reefs, in the forest or burning forests, who've lost homes, who may be about to lose a home, who got flooded in the hurricanes in Southeast Asia or the United States. There's a lot of grief and fear and sorrow rippling through you, your human emotional energetic realms. And I understand this and I hold all of you in my heart every single one of you. So hold each other. If you have the wherewithal to become a grief counselor, please get that training. Or to be a really good healer that's serving the highest good for me, please get that training. If you know how to work with PTSD, please get that training. 
because they're going to need to be a lot more of you because this the shift is happening fast so The most important thing I really want to leave you with in this state of the earth address is that things are not what you seem. Sorry, things are not what they seem to be. <laughs> There's actually an amazing amount of beauty happening in the birthing of this new earth. And I am really ecstatic for the most part. And I invite all of you to wake up and take the blinders off and go outside and feel the healing energy of a tree and give that tree love and ask the tree to love you back. And you know what? You now have a good friend that you're developing rapport with. This is how simple it can be to start with. And then plant more trees because that's one of the most important things for me. Regenerate all of my ecosystems that have been so devastated by your actions and your ignorance. And please stop producing the chemicals that don't break down very fast. Sure, they'll break down in a couple thousand years, but in the meantime, they are wreaking havoc. <clears throat> and a lot of you are getting cancer and you're wondering why. And you raise all this money for cancer treatment and research and it's like you haven't removed the toxins that you keep on putting out there. Some of you really know this. I'm preaching to the choir for some of you. But the wisdom, come back to the wisdom. Come back to my love. I am your true mother. I invite you now. I'm going to, well, Mayor and me together, we're going to guide you through a mother's love cord connection to help you drop your energy to my heart to really connect with me. Take a deep breath in and let it go. And take another deep breath in to the bottom of your lungs and exhale. Beautiful. Now visualize a beautiful, beautiful ribbon of energy starting at the top of your spine. And this ribbon of energy can be any color that comes to you. Green, purple, rainbow, blue, pink. Visualize this ribbon of energy going all the way down your spine. It goes all the way down your spine till it reaches your tailbone. And when it reaches your tailbone, I want you to drop the end of this ribbon of energy straight to my heart in the center of the planet. And I'm now opening my heart to take in the end of this ribbon of energy, this cord of energy, and I'm taking it straight to my core. This is how much I love every single one of you. Every single one of you. If you only knew how much love is beyond words. And take another deep breath in and let it out. And now I want you to feel in your heart the love and gratitude you have for me. I know you have it for me. I know you do it. Maybe you've forgotten. But think of all the food I've given you. Think of all the water you've been able to drink, which is my blood. My blood is your blood. Think of all the air that you've been able to breathe that comes from the plants and they're giving off oxygen and they take in your CO2 from all the mammals. It's this beautiful dance of energy. It really is if you really look at it. And it's love. This is a dance of love weaving between all of my beloved species here, including the stone people and the nature spirits. Know that you would not have a body if it weren't for the fact that I'm here and all of these other sacred ones are here. We have gifted you this body so you can have bones, you can have tissue, you can have muscles. So feel the love and gratitude within you, in your heart, for me, 
and for all the other beautiful sacred ones. And send this love and gratitude straight down to your tailbone and down this love cord connection straight to my heart. Ooh. Do you know how happy that makes me and how much I actually need you to do this to help me birth the new earth? I need you to connect with me like this. I really do. And so now I'm going to send my love back up your love cord connection straight up into your tailbone, your energy body, and straight to your heart. Here I go. And one more time now. Take another deep breath in and let it go. And send your love down this love cord connection straight to my heart. Anchor to me. Come home to me. Send your love to me and your gratitude. I love all of you so much. But we have work to do. I can't do it by myself. And neither, I need all of you guys on board, or most of you. There'll be a few laggards. There'll be the really late, late, late adopters, but so it is. They'll regret that. All right. So much love and gratitude to all of you. Whew. Okay. Um, thank you for watching this. And I'm now going to end this because Mother said her piece. And I think I might go outside for a walk because it's sunny out. Love and hugs, everybody. <laughs>